Hello everybody, it's um, Triforce. So, I know you guys have been waiting. Um, this is part three, which shouldn't even be, of uh, The Legend of Zelda Order of Time. My theory about the timeline in The Legend of Zelda, I know you guys have been asking, can you actually get a chart? So I made a makeshift chart here, and I have some evidence based on some video footage that I could get on YouTube, rather than going through the whole video game archive and actually getting an, uh, video game footage. First thing I want to talk about is um, the beginning. The beginning is the very most important part um, and also the end. A lot of people who have theories about the Zelda timeline, um, they get confused because they're actually trying to put into order what game comes after what in the middle. It is completely irrelevant. The only people that would actually know that is Nintendo. Um, it's great um, like, uh, you know, for us to try to sift through to see what exact game comes after each other in the middle, but it's not relevant to the actual timeline. The, what matters is as long as there's a beginning and an end. And uh, with this recent book, um, the um, Hyrule Historia that dropped out in Japan, um, it, it confirms that there's a timeline, but um, Nintendo always stated there was a timeline earlier this um, year, because um, when I went out to San Francisco, um, they had, uh, I bet with them, actually it was, I think it was San Diego, not too sure, but when I went out to um, Cali, I met with Nintendo and I asked them if there was a timeline. They said there's, a, there's an actual unofficial timeline, but they did not want to make it public that there's an actual one because then they would have to give answers that they don't want to. But they leave it open so that they can write the games that they want, how they see it. So with that said, and now we know there's a timeline for all these other fans that said that was no timeline, let's go over it. So, this is the how I have the timeline set up. Uh, it's not three timelines, it's one timeline with an alternate future or an alternate timepiece, but it eventually bridges back to the main timeline. I think it's, this is the reason why I think it's this way, it's the most plausible, the most simplistic timeline to follow. For instance, we start with Skyward Sword, right? Which is Hyrule before it was made. Then you have Ocarina of Time. And Ocarina of Time, this game right here, this game right here is the very most important aspect of the entire, entire timeline because its break explains everything. So, I call this part, the time, this is timeline B, the alternate, right? This timeline is called future end of Ocarina of Time and the main timeline right here which is A is on um, past end of um, the Ocarina of Time timeline because Ocarina of Time also below is the past to Wind Waker and that timeline it is also the past to its regular timeline now a lot of you is asking how can that be well let's go through a few things here <clears throat> so this is my cameraman Craymore for you guys who don't know. This is, um, let's see here. Okay, I'm gonna scroll down here. Oops, I scrolled a little bit too much. We're gonna go to the main screen right here. This should, should be the main screen, right? Um, let's see which video is this. It's loading. Oh my goodness, don't tell me you have to load everything. I'm gonna be very upset. In any event, this is the, the, I turned off the sound because obviously, whatever, we're gonna go through this. So this is this is the end of Ocarina of Time. We use a 3DS one because it has better graphics and so forth and blah, blah, blah. And this is right after Link defeats Ganon. So pretty much, I guess, they would be trapped somewhere in the nexus of time. They're just sitting right here wondering what to do. Sorry to pull the camera away. So we're gonna let Zelda finish talking, saying what she says. Peace will come again, blah, blah, blah. This is a tragedy that has befallen, what she says. I was so young, I could not comprehend the consequences of trying to control the sacred realm. I dragged you into it. Now it's time for me to make up. You must, um, uh, she's speaking too fast, guy. However, by doing so, the roads between time will close. So clearly, where Link and Zelda is right now isn't even in Hyrule. They're stuck between the roads of time. 
let's go on all right so she then um oops sorry let's go on link give me the orc arena as a sage now what she's she's gonna say as a sage she can return link to his normal time Let, let's 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 go over that again let's 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 look what zelda says oops let's click it right here we're going to get exactly zelda's words she says link give me the ocarina as a sage i can return you to your original time original time now we're going to take a break for this it's very important there's a reason why zelda calls it the original time this is the main time so in Zelda stating the, her, the original time, Zelda is already in game stating that they're in an alternate timeline. That is, the comp that is the comprehension in that statement. In order for it to be an original time, you must be in something else. So they're in this alternate time right now leading into Wind Waker. And she's going to return Link back to this time, Ocarina of Time. That right there stated that there was a second timeline being created in the game, in the actual game. Now, with that stated, let's, let's continue. Oh, another thing I wanted to point out. Remember in my, my other videos, I was talking about each of the characters have keys to, that manipulate time. For Link, his key of time is the Master Sword. And for Zelda, her key of time is the Ocarina. Ganon is power, so he can exist in all times should he want to. So that's why Ganon does not need any relics from Hyrule to do anything. So we're gonna finish. Oops. Let's go on. Let's see what said is being said. Remember that face from Zelda when we first saw it on the 64, and we thought it was so much graphics. Now we look, we see it on the 3DS, and we're like, uh-oh, what were we, what were, we, what were we in love with back then? Now go home, Link. Regain your lost time. So Zelda, as a sage, uses her orc arena. That does not belong to Link. She gave it to Link. Remember, folks, her orc arena you, is manipulating time. Now a lot of people don't understand something. Watch this. Here's something that you guys are not taking into consideration i'm going to pause it there because we're pretty much done with that segment right there in fact let me get rid of this video so we can save up on the ram space all right you guys ever thought about something if zelda sent link back to time back in time and link met zelda all over again what happens to the zelda of that timeline she stood there, right? So when you look at the intro of Wind Waker, right? You meet Zelda again in the game at this Princess Zelda and everything. Zelda tells you exactly everything that happens in, in the Wind Waker adventure. She knew about everything, her ancient past, the whole nine yards. So there are two Zeldas existed. Pick this. The Zelda in Ocarina of Time that sent Link back had her crest on her at the same time, right? Also, the Zelda in Ocarina of Time in the past has her crest too. So there are two Zeldas walking around with Triforce Crests of Wisdom, right? Now, in Wind Waker, when you play the game, which we're going to come back to later, I just want to point this out about Wind Waker. In Wind Waker, when Zelda's Triforce piece comes out and she transforms from Tetra back to Zelda, she knows every single thing about Ganon and what Ganon's been up to. And the Triforce of Wisdom gives her infinite knowledge throughout all time and so forth and blah, blah, blah. That's why she can remember everything. You ever notice Link doesn't know anything or does, does not appear to know anything in the game until he gets the Master Sword? Because the Master Sword is Link's key of time, and that's when he regains his Triforce. Well, actually, you have to shop for all, well, you have to, what's the word for this? Treasure hunt for all your army of Triforce pieces. But when Link gets his Triforce piece back, he becomes a little bit more cognitive as to what's going on. Because when you meet Ganon, and Ganon is sitting on the bed with Zelda sleeping, and Link walks in the room, Ganon turns around and speaks to Link in a suggestive manner as if he knows who the hero of time Link is. It's 
not like he's talking to Link like he's just some new guy. So Ganon knows who he is. Ganon knows who Zelda is. Zelda knows who Link is. Link is the only one who's unknown to this because the Triforce of the Triforce of Hero Link, the, well, the Triforce of Courage Link. I mean, his Triforce piece has to transfer his his all of that stuff that he knew as a spirit back into that new reincarnated Link. So that's where the, the concept of oh, that's a Link reincarnated. Yes, it's a Link reincarnated, but the actual spirit of the Triforce of Courage Link can inhabit those other Link bodies. Just like the spirit of the Triforce of Wisdom Zelda can inhabit other bodies and obviously the spirit of the Triforce of Power can inhabit other bodies because God knows how many times we've destroyed Ganon and he just comes back and in other forms and, and whatnot. So, let's go back to the, um, the past since Wind Waker is being started. We're now at the past. <clears throat> in the past, this is the storyline for Link as he goes to meet Zelda. We're gonna point this out for a reason. Uh, we're just gonna play. So I have this this part. Can can you see the um the video? I hope that light is not glaring on the video. Whatever. Okay, cool. So here's Link now going to meet Zelda back in time, redoing the very same thing he's doing all over again when he first met Princess Zelda. So Link, childhood Link, met Zelda twice, but this time, this same childhood Link. Re meets Zelda again and this time I'm gonna pause this is for every those who don't know if you look I'm pointing at his hand I'm not sure you're gonna look I'm gonna bring it closer to the screen I don't know if you can possibly see it I'm gonna hold that there right if you're looking at that you're going to notice that that's a Triforce on Link's hand but everything Link experienced as an adult is now locked in this child that's why I was trying to explain to people the childhood thing means nothing because the spirit of Link is what's retaining all of the information. The body host that he's in is irrelevant. It doesn't matter. Same thing for Zelda. If you look at Zelda in, um, in Wind Waker, the Zelda that left stayed in the, in the alternate timeline, the future end of Ocarina of Time, she was an adult. Right? What happened to that body? That body had to have died. And she put her spirit in Tetra, right? Which is why when you get Zelda all over again, she's young again. Which proves the reincarnation or the spirit of the Triforce of Wisdom, the Triforce of Courage, and the Triforce of Power goes into different bodies of these characters. But if you look, if you look at Tetra, Tetra is a black Hylanian, or I don't even know if she's even Hylanian. She's just a black elf. But when she uses the Triforce, her entire appearance changes and she's back to Zelda. So that's proof that the Triforce can move the spirits of the original Link, Zelda, and Ganon into different bodies in different times. They're supposed to because the Triforce are gifts of the gods. So time means nothing to gods. So uh, that was one of the problems a lot of people had. They're trying to, they're trying to rationalize human-based things in a fantasy world. Stop it. You have to go along with the fictional lore of the story so it can make some type of sense. So those who read comic books, like Doctor Strange and Thanos and the Infinity Gauntlet, you don't understand where I'm coming from. Those who don't will be baffled as to what's going on. So now that we got that over with, we're gonna focus over here now. And I wanna bring this up now. Ah, this is where things get really interesting now. So we're gonna go to we're gonna go here to actually, you know something, I'm not even gonna make the screen big because that's gonna make things um, slower. Here is Link in Wind Waker, right? So this is the future end of Ocarina of Time starting again. When you look at the beginning of the Legend of Zelda, they speak about Ocarina of Time. They say the Hero of Time came, Ganon destroyed Hyrule for seven years, the Hero of Time came, bodied Ganon, and then mystically disappeared. Link didn't mystically disappear. Zelda sent Link back to his time. That's why he, he left. So in that future now, they built Hyrule all over again, and they commemorated Link for his heroism by making a statue of Link, which, this is taking too long, so we're just gonna go, that's Link going in the Temple of Time. Let's see, let's go back a little bit. Is this it? 
perfect. So let's stop there. So as you can see, this is the new link in this time frame looking at his older self. That statue there is of Teen Link from Orcrean of Time when he rescued Hyrule. Now, the reason why I brought this up, because it's very important to speak on this matter, because this is a very important part. A lot of people want to know, why is Hyrule frozen? Hyrule is frozen because in Wind Waker, that time frame that exists is being run at the same time as this time frame. So, I don't know what, well actually it does state what power did it. The Triforce stopped the time for Wind Waker. So its past is frozen, literally it's frozen in time. Because when you get at the end and the king makes his wish, the Triforce tries to destroy Wind Waker's past. Well actually it does destroy Wind Waker's past. Completely wipes it out. So there's only one now timeline running for a past. When you, has it, if any one of you ever played Wind Waker and stepped outside Hyrule Castle in the front of Hyrule Castle, if you go back out there, you will notice in the background, there is a black temple in the background. Don't know what it is. You can't get past it because there's this huge force field that traps you in Hyrule Kingdom. But you can see Ocarina of Time's landmass and everything. I don't know what's going on with that. I, I tried to get involved and see what I could do. I wish that there was like game sharks and stuff that, that let me allow to break through and go and check what's in the background, but I couldn't. But I have a plausible explanation as to why that entire thing happened. The key of time, the master sword. You ever notice the minute Link drew the master sword out of, Hy of Hyrule Castle, time moved once again. So the Master Sword was literally keeping time uh, for that Hyrule specifically frozen for Link to come back and remove it again. So while Link was gone, time was frozen. When Link came, time was moved all over again. And then the Triforce destroys the past anyway, later on. So with that, with that said, we move on. We're going to click this off. We're going to go back to Ocarina of Time now. So, Wind Waker's past is already set in Ocarina of the, back, uh, the background. Link is um, reincarnated in a brand new body. He has to pull up the Triforce pieces out of the ocean before he gets all the, the Triforce Crest Link's information back into him. Zelda always, always had a Triforce of Wisdom on her, so she turns back to Zelda. Ganon already knows what's going on from jump. That moves into Phantom of the Hourglass, Spirit Tracks, Minish Cap. Now, I don't know about the Minish Cap. I just put Minish Cap there because this is the middle. It doesn't matter where Minish Cap is. It doesn't matter if it comes before this. It doesn't matter if it's in the main timeline going on. That's irrelevant. You can put the game anywhere, wherever you want to. But Minish Cap definitely does not start in the beginning. Why? Because when you look at Minish Cap and you talk to the Minish people, they tell you of a time when the Minish world existed, when they created the Master Sword and all this other stuff. So the game is not talking about the time you're in, it's talking about a time there was. So you can't have a game talking about the time there was in the beginning when you're supposed to be in that time. You can't talk about the past tense and live in the past tense at the same time. So if they're talking about the past tense, that means you're in the present. So a present game can't be in the past. It's a simple time logic. Okay, so now that we got that, I just threw that in there anywhere it needs to be. We're going back to Ocarina of Time. We're going to go to Majora's Max. Remember the video I showed you with the, crest, the Triforce Crest Link? And he went back to Zelda? Now, that Link came back and told Zelda exactly what Ganon was going to do. Instead, Zelda and Link made up an alternative plan as to what to do. I don't know what is it that they was going to do, but Link got a Pona and he was going somewhere to do something. We don't know what it was, but he went to Termia. And this is the or this is the beginning for Majora's Mask, which is a weird beginning. And there are two things about Majora's Mask which is very key to anything before we go past. Uh oh. Alright, the land of Hyrule, there, choke, echoes, whatever. We're gonna move on just a little bit faster than that. So this is Link. Clearly, Link is in the Lost Woods with Epona. 
and see that's the that's the childhood link right he's in the lost woods with epona whatever the case is i don't know who those two fairies are blah 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 anyway they attack link skull kids yada 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 blah 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 they steal link's horse i know what they're doing come on let's go and no and oh i want i want you, i want you guys to keep something in mind you want to know how you know this is the same link that just finished talking to zelda here's the evidence something people don't know it, the evidence is clear a lot of people are not even looking at it notice the skull kid has link's ocarina well zelda's ocarina which link has evidence one that's the link from ocarina of time right and i'm gonna show you the next evidence come on move you slow okay boom the hylanian shield link did not get that hylanian shield until he went on the adventure to what he has so that has to be the link because if this was a link in a different era where did he get the shield from so that's what that's about now i have i have 10 minutes left to explain the last minute um parts of this so now that we know that's link from ocarina of time moving forward after returning back to his time for whatever mission he's on which i have no idea what that mission is he also has zelda's ocarina right so in this timeline zelda cannot travel so this there's a zelda trapped in this future with her ocarina and then link's trapped in this past with the ocarina so now there's two ocarinas <laughs> All right, so now Link is doing this thing in Majora's Mask, yada, yada, yada. So everyone's like, okay, so with Triforce, what happened in Zelda, A Link to the Past? I'm gonna bring up A Link to the Past for a reason. Everyone goes, so where does the imprisoning war happens? If anyone played Zelda, A Link to the Past, it stated that in the imprisoning war, Ganon and the Hyrule Knights and everything did whatever they did and blah 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 and there was a big war and Ganon kills off the um, the thieves of the, and other warlocks and mages just like him and he also kills off the Hyrule Knights and he gets to he goes into the sacred realm he stands in a pool of blood knee high with the Triforce in hand and the cosmos hears his laughter notice no one mentioned anything about Link where was Link when that happened Link was lost in Termia in Majora's Mask. During that entire time Link was gone, the Sacred Realm happened then. During the same time that happened, that's why in A Link to the Past, they talk about it as legend. Now, why does that make plausible sense? Because during this time period, which Majora's Mask is with Orcrean of Time, whether it's the future end or the past end, Ganon was sealed up by the seven sages, not six, seven, as stated in um, um, the Link to the Past. Now everyone's like, but there was only six sages. Wrong, there were seven. In the end of Orcrean of Time, Zelda is the last sage, and she helps with the other sages to seal Ganon. So it's six, it's, um, six plus Zelda, because the sages are the descendants of Zelda anyway. So now... So you have the sages sealing Zelda for um, Ganon for the future win, uh, future end of Ocarina of Time and the sages sealing Ganon at the past Ocarina of Time. So it doesn't matter which timeline it's in, the continuity of what's going to happen remains. Ganon is sealed in the sacred realm. It also states that it becomes myth and legend and everyone forgets what is going on and so forth and so forth. Let me know when I get to 25 minutes so I can wrap it up. So now I put this question mark here. Everyone's like, why is a question mark there? Because this is where Nintendo can have fun, right here. This is where Nintendo can have fun. Because Link goes into Termia as a child, he comes out of Termia as a child. His, the next game following Majora's Mask is Twilight Princess and Link is at his team. So Nintendo can write any game they want should they choose to so for those who go well if we know the timeline then it's pretty much we know the beginning we know the end so they're going to stop making zelda games eh, eh, incorrect nintendo can write whatever they want in the middle it's designed that way and that's the best way to do it so they can have fun right here whenever they want showing you link growing up and whatever the case may be twilight princess happens it ends now we get here i put the bridge triforce symbol and the games so Anyone who noticed, there's a game called The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past slash Four Swords. 
this is where the bridge happens. I put Four Swords Adventures up here because we're trying to show continuity, past and present, right? And um, past and future, past, present, and future anyway. If Ganon was sealed in either timeline, then there should be a Four Swords in both timelines to bridge the continuity because the Ganon being sealed was the break, Four Swords um, seals the bridge. So that's with the break off. Four Swords Adventures, I put it up here because a link to the past happens in the main timeline. It doesn't happen in the alternate timeline. I have Four Swords Adventures. What do the games have in common? The Four Sword world is in both timelines. So they're like, okay, Triforce, but if the Four Swords world in the timeline, how, there is no evidence that the games link. Not true. The evidence is in the game. So let me get you guys the long-awaited evidence. Now, not a lot of people remember this game. All the true Zelda fans would have this game, to be honest with you. All right, let's play this bad boy. This is this is the Dark World in the Link to the Past. Here, Link is. He's about to, um, this is Ganon's tower in the dark world. Now it's funny because the dark world was created by the Triforce. Let me mention one thing. The Triforce rule is make your wish and it will grant a greater expression of your wish. Ganon wished to rule Hyrule. The Triforce gave him dark Hyrule while the original Hyrule still exists. So he pretty much got two Hyrules for the price of one wish. I want to make that, I just wanted to make that note. So when you go that way, now, in the original Super Nintendo game, there is no hole in that wall for anyone to see. This is The Legend of Zelda Link to the Past Four Swords. So guess what's in here? Palace of the Four Swords. So in the alternate realm, um, Hyrule that Ganon made using the wish of the Triforce, there is a connection to Four Swords the World by the Triforce in which when you play this game, the Four Swords you get in the actual Four Swords game is crossed over into this world. You have to do a bunch of puzzles and stuff like that. And you actually get to fight the four alternate reality links. The main link, the, this is the real link. That's why I put Link to the Past in the main timeline because it's just the real link, the one that went back in time to Zelda. And Link defeats those Four Sword links. So by, this, by that method, this is why I bridged the game. This is the bridging game. Now you're like, okay, so what? He beats the Four Swords Link. What does that have anything to do with it? Exactly my point I'm trying to make now. Link after beats Ganon, the Triforce says, touch the Triforce and make a, a wish that was in your heart. Now, remember I stated, the spirit of Link carries all the information of what happened to Link in Ocarina of Time, both past and future. So Link knows exactly what's going on in everything. He's experienced it. Even the Four Sword Adventures Link have experienced it because those links crossed over into Link to the Past. So if Link or Links know everything, when he made his wish, his wish to the Triforce was return everything back to normal. And if the Triforce is like, okay, whatever your wish is going to be, I'm going to grant ex a greater expression of the wish, then the Triforce is going to bridge the timeline together. And now everything is back to normal. And so Link went back to his original Hyrule, but everything is back to normal. So now both timelines can continue with Oracle of Seasons and Ages, Link's Awakening, Zelda 1, Zelda 2, and then the Unmentionables, <laughs> which is the CDR. So, that's my theory on The Legend of Zelda and the timeline that it, there is. There's a lot more intricacies in it, but I had about a half an hour to do this. And um, how much time I have left? Three seconds? Three minutes? 30 seconds. Okay, so we have 30 seconds left. And you guys, the best way to try to get an understanding of this Go back to the very beginning of this video. If anything you can't understand, go through it. Or leave messages on the YouTube comments. I'm going to have it up, open up there. And I can go through the full details with it. But I hope you guys understand. And I hope this makes a lot more sense than that book. 